In an emergency, what's the first thing to go? Water. Water. Power, water, you can't drink out of your faucet. It's like if it's a big earthquake, it sh shook everything up, and you're going to have bacteria and stuff in your water. You go to the grocery store, what's the first thing, that, first thing that's going to be gone is all the water. And so you've learned how to store water today. And I don't know if you talked about how much you should store. Um, in some of the paperwork I was reading, it said that a gallon a day per person would be nice. But that's just drinking. That's not cleaning. That's not cooking with or anything. But that would be nice. And five gallons would be even better. And then they said what would be best is for each person to have two 55-gallon drums. That would be perfect for storing. I've got 10 people in my family, and I thought, 20 drums. And actually, I've got 17, but <laughs> I've got enough room for that. A lot of people don't. And so uh, that's where filtering is going to really come in. Even though these are coffee filters, I think these are like three bucks or something for 700 of them. These pre-filtering any of your water is going to make all the difference for anything that you're doing. Because even Chad said, if you're dumping them out of your 55 gallons, you know, the, the taste. Maybe in an emergency we're not going to care that much about taste, but if we're stressed and we're outdoors and it's hot, we're going to need to drink more water than we normally do. And I've been backpacking before, and I have, I have used the iodine tablets, you know, that you put in. There's a taste. And if I had to drink a gallon, if I had to drink gallon water, period, that'd be rough. But if I had to drink that for a long period of time, I'd start gagging on it and everything. And that's where water filters come in. But first, uh, the water, uh, Chad mentioned you can get water out of your hot water heater. You can get water out of your toilet tanks. Now, if I'm doing that, I really am going to filter. Uh, if you have ponds and lakes around, streams, that's going to be ideal. But you have to filter it. You have wild animals out there, and I don't know why they need to pee and poop in the water, but they do. And so you're getting bacteria. And you can boil water. Now, Brother Brochart said you boil it for five to 10 minutes. That's what we've always heard. The information I was finding said no. Bring it to a boil, and you're done. So you don't have to boil it as long. But even bringing it to a boil is going to use a lot of fuel if you're doing all this water. Because not only do you need clean water for drinking, you do need it for washing. You do need it for dishes. So you can't. And so that's the boiling part. The other kind is you can purify water. And you can do that with solar ovens. You can get. Uh, bottles and just paint like the outside black and put them in here or they can just be in low you know you don't want a big black pan but you can put them in low black pans in here and if you're doing it during the middle of the day it would take two hours to let your water just sit in there and it would pasteurize it and I don't know how many of you have these but some of the new ones they come with a, a whoppy and it's a uh, soy wax and you drop it in your water and when it melts it drops to the bottom and that tells you that your water is purified and you don't have to worry about it. Um, the other kind of way to treat water is with chemicals which could be iodine, there's, ox there's tons of them on the market, you just follow the directions on the bottle on how to do it. It usually tells you about quart size, a gallon size, and how much to put in. But most of them do leave a taste. Even bleach, bleach leaves a taste, but it's not, to me, as bad as some of the others. 
And those things will take out your microorganisms and your bacteria. It will clean it. Um, and only your purifying filters will take out viruses also. So how do you decide what kind of filter that you want? Okay, you definitely, everybody needs these. Because you pre-filter, all your filters will last twice as long. Um, my kids have all done like a wilderness program. And they would take these canteens and they just went out into the wilderness for six weeks. And they drank stream water, lake water. And when they couldn't find that, there were, uh, they called them cow tanks where cattle would just come and drink. And they would have to move the leaves and the pine needles and this bubbly green stuff to the side. And then they, they would take bandanas or their shirts or whatever, and they would cover their canteens and just drop it in, let them fill up. And their main supplies out there was a canteen and a little thing of bleach. They'd put two drops of bleach in it, shake it, and then they could drink it anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour later. But there's still that little bit of bleach flavor. And the neat thing about these filters is that it actually makes it taste good. And there are so many different kinds on the market. So the three things that we found that you should look for is how much water you want to filter. Okay, so depending how many water barrels you have in your yard, whatever. Like, Debbie got this from the church. That's not the church one, but the church one's like that. This one? I don't have oh. the church one. It's like it. They run anywhere from 10 to $20. There's a filter in there. You fill it up, you shake it up and stuff, and then you'll drink through there. And it takes out all bacteria and does a really good job with taste. Because, and it takes out chemicals too. Some and, that chemicals. and that does 100, up to 100 gallons. Up to 100 gallons. Isn't this better than like There's maybe a couple 55 gallon barrels? I mean, not, you need those too, but you know, that, that will take your water a long way. This one, you know, you got to put it, you got to pump it. But um, this is a pretty high end one. They're, you know, a little more expensive. I think this does a thousand gallons. I don't remember. Rob bought that one. I know it was two hundred dollars. That's all I remember. So when you're looking, when you're looking, just think about how many gallons you want, and then you want to think about how long it takes to purify it. Okay, these are pretty much instant. These are instants. But when you get the higher ends, that also take out. Um, viruses when you pour water in they have charcoal filters inside and the water has to seep through it that's what cleans out all the bacteria and everything and then it drops in to the bottom of the bucket where you can squirt it out some will do a quart in like an hour and some will do a gallon in 30 minutes so that you kind of need to think about too. And what was the third thing? What it, oh, I don't know. I don't remember. I guess mostly just, you know, how fast it'll do your water and how many gallons it'll do. Okay, uh, the filters that have carbon in them are the ones that you will take out all bacteria all chemicals and vi most viruses. So, and those are your higher end ones that will be bigger. Um, in most natural disasters, my paperwork said that I think it was 2004 when they had the big tsunami, 138,000 people died after it because of not clean drinking water and sanitation. And, you know, you look in history and almost, 
I mean, that is almost the key to everything, is having clean water and keeping things clean, sanitation. So it's really important to have water filters. Um, this is a pre-filter. It's a paint sock. Debbie gave us to us. It's really thick. It's like a real heavy felt fabric. You can hang it, pour your water in there, and have something under it, and the water will filter through all the icky stuff. Wouldn't hurt to run it through this first. As many pre-filter things you can do, it's going to be better, and it's going to make your expensive ones last longer. And your filters can be any cost anywhere from $100 to $900. But they are important to have. And we are going to, this is a homemade one. And we're going to be offering this as a kit later on for people that want to make them. They are <clears throat> two buckets. The, there is a hole cut in the top and it's got one of these socks in it. You just pull the lid off. <laughs> and inside is a filter that you can buy, that it comes with it. It is a carbon filter and it is on the bottom of it. So what you do is you run it through water through your your sock, it goes through the filter and will drip down into here. And it comes with a little food grade water level too. And this, we don't know the exact amount of what it's going to cost yet, but it's probably going to be around $50 if you want the two buckets and everything. Just the components of that are less, but with the bucket, the sock, everything, it'll be around $50. And this, uh, does a gallon, it'll drop down a gallon an hour, and it will do a thousand gallons. Do you know why that's the offering that? I think it's 3,000 gallons. <clears throat> that's an excellent price for that. Isn't it? Do you know when you're going to be offering that? Yeah, we're doing the order in, this water and sanitation order will be in October. So watch your emails in October. And you know when your filters are done working is when they start giving you the output that you normally get when they start slowing down most filters you can take the filter out if it has ceramic on the outside of it that's what you're talking about right we're gonna sand it yeah. down a little yeah with the ceramic you can clean it off with clean water real good let it dry out because there's charcoal inside and the charcoal gets packed down you can shake it up and then do it again until it starts running slow again. And then you're usually ready for another filter. Um, let me see what it said here. I thought it was a thousand. It might have been. When you get your stuff, you'll have all the specifics on it. Yeah, right here. If you guys want to come up and look, it's the directions for making it and, every, and everything that you need to know. Flow rate. A gallon per hour. What was the other question? Oh, how many gallons? Yeah. The other thing why she's looking that up is that when you get, especially carbon filters, the big Berkey filters, most of these kind of filters that are, have ceramic and um, um, carbon in them, when you first start using them, it takes two or three days until you'll get that full flow rate because it has to get all saturated on the inside and it takes a while to do that. When I first did my big Berkey, it only got like a half a gallon in an hour instead of, it's supposed to get up to three gallons an hour. So it took a couple of days of water going through it. And the fuller that it is, the faster the water comes out. So the fuller your top bucket is, if you keep that topped off, you'll get more water. If you let it go down, it starts really slowing down because that pressure helps push it through. Did you have your sent to uh, Utah? Because I have my, my big Berkey sent to because they don't sell those. That's oh no. Stainless steel in California. They delivered them for me here. I did a I did an order with them a few years ago. See, that's nice because if you do it by yourself. I have a friend who's a dealer. He lives in California. He's Sweet. got them to me. Yeah, we 
try to buy them online without Debbie's help, they won't ship. California them. has some rule about, I don't know, there's something about it that they don't like. You know, California is really big into rules. So, but the Big Berkey is one of the best um, um, filter on the market. So, in other words, order them from Debbie because it's really hard <laughs> to get unless you have relatives that live out of state and you go send it to them and then you go pick it up. Okay. Did Depending you find Depending on how well you uh, pre filter, mm -hmm. these will go 3,000 to 5,000 gallons. Do you still have the boiler? No. No. This is just. No. Nope, you, don't have to you can, down. if your water, it, you're really worried about something in it, you can pre-treat it with a little bit of um, bleach first and then run it through. But with these filters, you shouldn't have to do that. It pretty much filters out everything. And it's even good tasting water. And that's another way you can know that your filter's not filtering as good as if you can start tasting the water. Yeah? So does that mean that you don't have to add the chlorine in Yes, no. You don't need any chlorine. These take the chemicals out of things. So like if you do have a 55 gallon barrel and you have put bleach in it, this will take out that, take that out. And this seems to be a little controversy, <laughs> controversial, but on the ones I've read, these, will, these higher end ones will take out all the chemicals and everything in swimming pool water. So you would be able to drink your swimming pool water. But don't count on that as your food or your water supply because if there's a big earthquake and it cracks and it's empty, then it sloshes out. Yeah, it won't be too good. What about the pools that are going to have to change? Not salt ones. Change the what? Okay. Salt ones only the distillers. The long salt. Um, when you look in it and you start seeing particles down in there, pull it inside out, rinse it out. Okay. You don't have it. It'll last forever. Yeah, just. Whenever any of the filters get dirty, you just rinse them off. So basically, filters, it's, it's a personal preference, how much you want to spend, how many gallons you want to have handy. These are like between $10 and $20. It would really be worth it for all your kids to have one in their grab bag. <coughs> You know, because right there, man, you've got like 200 gallons. So it'll get you through a lot before, and who knows? Oh, that was the other thing. How long you think the disaster is going to last is how many gallons you think you're going to need. But you can never have too much water. And those water bottles that you can order from the distribution center online, the an extra filter for it is only eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Right. And that will do another like what, another hundred thousand, gallons. Another, it's it, yeah. if you get a bottle and two filters, it's about twenty two dollars. Right. Okay. That's great. Yes. The biggest problem is storing water in the car in the seventy two hour kit. Because my seventy two hour kits are in my car, except my grab and go stuff, like the things sleep. You gotta really like rotate that it. Can't store. That's why I get one of these and. Well, I yeah, guess but you, you don't have, have a water find source, water. you can't really use that. You just so have to like, really rotate it. How often do you? My water in the car, I'd say rotate it every month because especially that, in the summertime, it's cool. it's, yeah. it tastes yucky. It does. And so if you have one of those and your water, you'd be okay because it'll filter out, you know, your Is stuff and it'll go back to taste again. I mean, like, do you store in metal? You can get the, there's pouches that will store for a year, even at heat. The foil and they ones? have, they have four ounces in them, and those work really well. Those are the little bags that you put yeah. in kits or whatever. Uh-huh, exactly. Okay, we have to stop. Okay. But thank you, Linda. Good job.